Cambridge Nationals, Level 1, Level 2. The Teacher's Resource The team at Cambridge University Press have created a complete suite of resources to support you with the Cambridge National Qualifications, redeveloped for 2022. From the very start of the development process, we talked extensively to our panel of Cambridge National Teachers to find out what was most needed. As part of this, you told us that you wanted engaging teaching packs with resources such as video and presentations to help you deliver the course. With this in mind, we've created a rich bank of ideas that you can pick and mix from to create lessons that engage your students. All our resources are carefully designed around a common pedagogical approach. Engage, teach, apply, review. This consistent approach makes it easy for you to create and deliver lessons for your students because the content across the teacher's resource, student book and revision guide follows the same approach. You can combine your preferred content from our resources with your own tried and tested activities to create self-contained lessons that work for you and your students. Let's take a deeper look inside one of our teacher's resources. This is the teacher's resource for IT, but the approach is the same for all of the teacher's resources. The first thing to do is to take a look at the delivery plans. We recognise the diversity in vocational classrooms and that how you deliver your Cambridge National course will vary from the way other schools deliver it. Therefore, whilst we have provided an exemplar delivery plan for each unit to help with your planning, the delivery plan is customisable, so you can make it your own. Each delivery plan suggests an appropriate number of lessons to support that unit's guided learning hours. A list of supporting resources helps you to easily find what you need to deliver that session. Moving on to the teaching notes. Each unit, and then each topic area, as overview teaching notes to support with your preparation for delivering the unit or topic area. The notes provide details about guided learning hours, learning intentions, key terms and opportunities for synoptic learning. They offer support with essential knowledge for non-specialist teachers and highlight common misconceptions to address when teaching. Each topic area section has a set of teaching notes with ideas for delivery and activities. The ideas are divided up into Engage, Teach, Apply, Review. You can select the ideas that most suit your needs to create engaging, varied lessons. Challenge and support activities are drawn out within the teaching notes. You might want to mix and match these ideas with your own or those from our student book or revision guide. The teaching note files are editable so you can customise them to make them work for you. The right hand column lists suggested resources from this teaching pack and gives an indication of timing for each idea. Our teachers resources are designed to work independently, but in places you'll see handy links are given to our student book pages where you can find more detailed subject information or further activity ideas that you may find helpful. Within each teacher's resource, you'll find supporting worksheets, worksheet answers, and presentations with accompanying notes. These are all customizable files. You know your students best, so we encourage you to download and adapt our bank of ideas, worksheets, and presentations to meet the needs of your students. During our panel research, you told us that your students are often put off by the amount of work they have to do as part of the course. So we wanted to help you hook these students into their learning. Within the teacher's resource, you'll find getting started activities that link the topic with students' prior knowledge. These ideas may be discussions, thinking points, or supported by worksheets and presentations. Once you've hooked your students in, it's important to keep them motivated. Ideas of how students can apply their learning in practice are combined with audio-visual activities, 
both from within the resource and from appropriate external sites. Here's a clip from one of the videos from the IT Teachers Resource. When we think of an HCI, or Human Computer Interface, our first thoughts are about the different digital devices we use the majority of the time, such as our laptops, tablets, or mobile phones. This is just the tip of the iceberg because HCIs appear in a wide range of areas that we probably take for granted. One of the most common places you could encounter an HCI is at the bank, especially when you want to withdraw money or see what your balance is. Through making a series of choices on screen at the cash machine, we are able to do this quickly and efficiently. In retail, HCIs are becoming more and more commonplace. You might be used to scanning your own shopping at the end of the trip around the supermarket. However, these days, more and more supermarkets have handheld scanners so the customer can scan and pack their shopping as they walk around the shop. This is just one example of HCIs in retail. Can you think of any other HCIs used in retail? Encouraging students to reflect on their learning is prompted within the teaching notes with midpoint topic area and end of unit review activities. And straightforward digital quizzes can help you assess students' knowledge and understanding for each unit. These key concept quizzes can be displayed front of class on whiteboards and used as formative assessment opportunities to check whole class understanding. Solutions are provided as well as an explanation of why the other options are not correct. And just so you know, students can find more key concept quiz questions within the revision guide. Each teacher's resource also includes front of class quizzes to help you support students with their understanding of the language of assessment. We know that this is an area that many students struggle with. There are two types of quizzes, both focusing on the OCR command words. One quiz is just simply the command word. The other quiz has a command word within a subject specific question. Both quizzes ask students to consider how they would answer the question. Find out more about how Cambridge University Press's rich bank of resources can help you plan and deliver your Cambridge National.